Yes! Who's ready for this? Who is ready for the pre-patch to a new beginning? For those who haven't been keeping up, we have the Legion pre-patch coming tomorrow, Tuesday, July 19th. I'm going to cover a few things of interest as you get your tunes ready for this glorious day. As mentioned, tomorrow is launch day, and what to expect with that will be the new transmog system so you can get your sexy on. I personally love this change so I can clear out all my storage and just have an overall more accessible appearance change. This is a great feature, they've done some real good work into this and it's just damn good compared to what we have. Then we have the mass changes to classes. Almost every class has had a revamp making this a very controversial expansion. Most appear to enjoy what they see and take it for what it is as an ever evolving game while others are super pissed. The change is good, and for the most part, every spec feels really damn good in their own retrospect. With the ease and sights available, over the next month the transition should be pretty easy for most and hopefully break the rut that is Warlords of Draenor soon enough with a full launch. Now this is just what's expected for the 19th, but we do have more available coming soon over the next few weeks. The Burning Legion Invasion is well on its way shortly after the main pre-patch. This will be kind of like the 5.3 Battle of the Barons event, where it will be a group effort to push out the forces at hand, but this time, it's multiple locations all over Azeroth. This assault will be great for gearing up some alts and that just dinged 100, with some gear allowing a better push into the Broken Isles on launch. Overall, it's a decent event, not the greatest, but decent to get some world content and a few achievements in. Then we have the Demon Hunter Early Access. It will be coming soon also and should be available no later than August 17th for those that have pre-purchased the Legion Beta. Jump on the all new hero class and pound out some demons and see what the fuss is all about. The downside is that the demon hunters really don't start getting a good feel to them till about level 106 due to talents, meaning you will have to wait till after launch to really push the core of this new class. And finally, the big launch event scenario, the Battle on the Broken Shore, will be coming soon, having us push into the Broken Isles and start our siege against the Legion Invasion and find out exactly what we are in for. All this will be available to all currently active World of Warcraft players except for the Demon Hunter Early Access, which is limited to those who have pre-ordered. With the Legion pre-patch coming, there are a ton of new little features being added in also. New animations, a new easy to see UI bar under the character, and one I really want to talk about is the silence penalty. This new feature will hopefully remove the over spammers, bad trolls, and just plain salty players who have been piling up over the years. We have seen this in action in other Blizzard games recently and seems to work out fairly well. So what does this consist of? If a player is reported multiple times for spam or abusive chat, Blizzard will conduct a small investigation so it's not to be abused and determine if that player is at fault. They will then receive an account wine silence greatly limiting their ability to chat or interact in certain ways. First strike will be 24 hours and every strike after will double from its previous penalty. 24, 48, so on so forth, uh, what 96, you get the picture. If a player is silenced, they are unable to talk in instance chats, talk in global channels, create calendar invites, send mail, party invitations, wargame or duel invitations, or create a pre-made group or update an existing pre-made group. What they can do is whisper a friend in WoW or on Battle.net, reply to a non-friend whisper, talk in invited party or raid chats, create a party or raid, Talk in moderated global channels, aka created channels. Share quests and sign up for a pre-made group. My two cents on this, I really like this. It's like Blizzard is taking their game back from the salt community that has been overfilled with bad taste and etiquette. I for one will love to see how this plays out, possibly making it so server communities make a comeback and people aren't scared to ask a question in chat anymore for fear of being ridiculed. Bravo Blizz, bravo. Now let's hope it works. That's the main thing. Hopefully this thing works out the way it's intended. There are so many great changes coming tomorrow. I hope you all enjoy yourselves and as always, thanks for watching.